Hi, my name is Paul Zagman, and we're back at Grand Blank Mitsubishi taking a look at the brand new 2018 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. This just got introduced to the North America whole market here, and I'm actually really, really excited about this one because it's just different. It's the right look and at a price point unbeatable. As you know with Mitsubishi, and if you've done some research on it, they're awesome with brand imaging. They're awesome with taking a look at very good design and styling. And with the 2018 Mitsubishi Cross, uh, Eclipse Cross, you're not going to be disappointed, definitely. That is for sure. So let's just get down into this vehicle and take a look at everything. First of all, I gotta love this. This is the accent lighting for the LED on the headlamps. That is unreal. I like it because it's just something different or a different design. So not your, your car's not gonna look the same as everyone else's. That and they recess the fog lights perfectly down into the bottom area with your turn signal too and wrap that around with chrome. Great look on the accent and design of the vehicle with a projector beam and your, and your high beam up here as well. Just I think lights are a big part of how attractive the car looks from the front. Well, not just that, this is the SE package. So you're going to get a couple different trim levels with the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. What you're going to get is you're going to get an ES in front wheel drive. Then ES also offers an all-wheel control, and it's a super all-wheel control only in the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. What does that mean? Well, that means you're gonna have your ABS braking going from left and right along with curve control, and that is gonna be individual wheels. So all four have their own braking control system with your traction control to keep you on the road planted safely, apply more power to the outside on curves and turns to keep you glued to the road and be able to really maneuver the vehicle with the perfect amount of agility. So that and extremely aggressive in the snow. Literally, I was blown away by what this vehicle can do in the snow. We're in Michigan, it's March. We got nine inches last week. Well, guess what we got to do? We got to play in the snow. And this vehicle, along with the Outlander and Outlander Sport and the whole CUV lineup from Mitsubishi, literally impressed and blown away. Take a look at some more design features that are on the outside of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. You got your triple diamond up front, definitely the right look for the vehicle too. And this is a rally red metallic, by the way, just so we can uh, address what the color is. But you got the silver inlay on the top of chrome on your two bar grill here. And then you have the, the black piano black inlay here that carries down through the center. And then on the SE and SEL packages, you're gonna have this silver accent down below as well. That's just a good look on the front, aggressive. It can be either way, masculine, feminine, just a really just perfect approach to the vehicle for whatever event you're gonna be going to or catering to, I love it. It really impressed me. And that brings me back to looking at pictures online and then seeing it in person. It's just so much different. You gotta put your hands on one of these things to really be able to take a look at what it is versus some of the competition. Definitely a game changer, no doubt about it. And I wanted to take a look at the wheels too. Similar to what you have in the Mitsubishi Outlander Sport package, we're gonna have a machine finish with a dark inlay on the spokes, and that's painted black all the way through. You got a five lug, you got your Mitsubishi triple diamond in the center of it, and you've got your disc brakes up front. This is now gonna be coming with a Bridgestone tire as well, which I like because, well, they're aggressive and Bridgestone's got a great name. Also gonna be wrapped with a fender flare style here that's gonna keep the rock chips off the paint, and it's just easy to keep clean a little bit longer. Rocker panels down below, those are also gonna be that matte finish along with that silver accent here, just to give it a little bit of a different contrast of styling. I love the curves that are coming through here in the door panel and stretch all the way back through to where the rear taillights are, giving it a good hip in the back of the vehicle too, in the rear quarter panel. That draws me right up to here. Turn signals are built into the driver and passenger mirror, along with a paint to match skull cap or mirror cap. That also a good option to have, and it just accents to the style of the vehicle too. Taking that to the door handles for the driver and passenger door, you have the intelligent access button right here. That's pretty easy. We can lock and unlock. And when they lock, did you see what just happened? It's not magic. It's power folding mirrors. That's gonna come in the SE package and above. So we have the ES, ES all-wheel control. If you go into the LE, the SE, or the SEL, it's gonna come with the super all-wheel control option only. So you're gonna make sure that this vehicle, it's available in front wheel drive only in the ES. Anything above the ES, only gonna be able to be available with an all wheel drive. And that's why they're calling it the Eclipse Cross. The Cross is just gonna kind of stand for some of that all wheel drive synergy that's going around with this product brand, right? Awesome, love the look of it. Chrome belt line, not just a chrome belt line, it goes all the way around both driver front and rear 
windows than the passenger front and rear windows as well. So that you'll see that black molding come across. It goes over the rear wheel wall housing too. And you got some of that design coming through to the back side here. This is an additional little pop out that I like because that's gonna keep just a little bit more of that stuff off the back side of your bumper. Take a look at the taillights. Now we've had a ton of different comments, concerns. What does this look like in person? Wait till you put your hands on it. I love the LED tail lamps that come and wrap all the way through. Now you have your center high mount stop lamp is gonna be built into that. So when your brake pedal is depressed, that's gonna illuminate and carry this full circuit all the way through. Beautiful, I think it looks great and rated for one of the top visibilities in its class, period. Why? Because we have a visibility through here and the top. Normally, on a lot of the crossover utility vehicles, you get limited by the side visibility, you get limited by the rear, because there's so much concern with how small the window is. That just changed. You need to take a look in the rear view mirror of this vehicle because of how much visibility you have. If you're concerned with it, or if that's an issue you currently have, so many are tucked in and brought at an angle this way, that it eliminates all this vis visibility here to the left and right for the driver to be able to see what's behind them and what's going on. And that window down below, perfect. It's a great accent to the vehicle. I love the way that they trimmed out the rear piece of above where your license plate goes. It's just another chrome accent that's not too much. It's just right, it's just enough to tie the front to the back. And this being the SE package in the Eclipse Cross, what a great way to look at a little bit more room and having the ability to go through and do what you need to do as far as some of your day-to-day your -day driving and then even the adventures you're gonna take on the weekends. This is gonna be the portfolio mats that say Eclip Eclipse Cross embroidered into them. Down underneath, spare tire, you've got your jack, some additional storage areas over here. And well, that's nice. Guess what you're not sitting on? Some tiny little 14 inch donut that you can only go Oh, you know, the, as comfortable as five miles with until you get to your local shop, that's actually very useful. And the thing that I like about this, it's a nice hard plastic, it's not gonna go break off on you. Here's the cool thing that I like too. If you take off this hook, you're able to hook this up, so it's out of your way. If there's anything that you're gonna go to and get out of the trunk and remove and use this for roadside assistance purposes too, here's a cool thing. How about roadside assistance since we're on the subject? How about five years unlimited mileage? Anybody else offer that? I don't think so. Well, Mitsubishi does, five years. 200,000, cool. Five years, it's unlimited mileage, right? That's beautiful. Take a look at the back side of this too. You're gonna have your uh, latch system, the lower anchor tether child safety harness. That's gonna be where you're gonna hook up and latch to any of the rear safety harnesses for any car seats that you're gonna be having inside of the vehicle too. Things that we've touched on, on a couple of our videos, I think just one actually, but this, simple thing, right? It's a gas, gas, gas door, right? Yeah, there you go. Well, guess what? No more locking gas caps, no more need for that because there's a lever inside of the vehicle that releases that gas door, right? So no confusion with that too. That is gonna be released from the driver's side on the bottom floor area right next to your left foot. Pretty easy there. Why don't we take a look at the inside of the vehicle, take a look at the back seat room, how to fold the seats, and we'll take a look at the front, which has a whole new infotainment system that's, that's in the vehicle. And being in the SE package, you're gonna have two different screens that are gonna be offered, a 6.5 screen, or in the SE, you automatically get upgraded to the seven inch touch screen as well in here. So let's review a couple of things there. And by the way, I didn't mention this. Yes, you have disc brakes in the back too, in case anybody's wanting to know or, or question that. And just reminds me that if you have any questions on anything I didn't review on the outside, Let's take a look at that. We're gonna to go to the inside, and then we'll go underneath the hood, and then we'll wrap it up. Just giving you a heads up. Let's take a look at the inside. Follow me. And here we are in the back seat of the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. And this is, again, the SE package. So taking a look at a couple things in here, we're gonna have the uh, second row console or armrest in here. That is pretty cool because it's got a couple of drink holders that are in there too. We got our, our head restraint too, or our headrest that's gonna be able to easily slide up and down. You do have a third shoulder belt that can go through a pass-through that's built in right here in the center. That's gonna clip into this latch system right here. So if you are gonna use a third shoulder belt, you've got that option there too. So I like that. That's easy to get out of the way too. So if you are folding the seats or moving the seats or have a car seat and that's not something you're using, it's out of the way. I do like that. So take a look at what the seats do. So this seat 
and I do like the design in there. There's diamonds all over the place. I do like that. So that's just something different, not something everybody has. And you have your latch system that's built into the bottom here for any car seats that you're gonna be able to use. And then here as well on the driver's side. So it's a 60-40 split. Taking a look at how the seats move. Well, kind of one of the things that the Outlander does, they recommended it for the Eclipse Cross as well. So now we are able to move this seat and the seat that I'm sitting on as well very easily just by reaching at a lever that's underneath this seat here. So when it's folded, if you don't want that giant gaping hole that can be in the front and not to the armrest or not to the, to the back side of the vehicle, why don't you just slide it forward. This seat can come all the way back to here. I have this one back about four inches from where the passenger seat is and there's ample room in here. There's no question there. There's plenty of room for full-size adults sitting in the back seat, no questions asked. And if there's kids in the back too, there's plenty of room for them to be in car seats without having their feet like right on the seat the whole time. I have to, I know how that goes. But just to take a look at some of the versatility, yeah, it's, it's definitely there. Another thing too that, that we're gonna mention too is these do recline. Again, that's a big deal to me. Car seats, if they're gonna be forward facing or reverse facing just to get those leveled out right, or just the comfort of the back seat passengers. Move your headrest where you need it to be. Recline your seat or fold it forward any way that you'd like to do. I like the contrast stitching that's really incorporated all the way through the vehicle, a different design than just the normal blah inside of it. It is, it's, it's good, it's versatile and it's comfortable and there's plenty of room to be able to see out as a passenger too. A thing that I noticed too is you'll be, you, you have your A pillar up by the windshield, this is your B pillar here and your C pillars all the way back here. Well, take a look at the size of this window. This window is awesome because you're not putting this little tiny window back here. And that's huge to me because when you put it here, then you eliminate your visibility from a driver because that's typically where your blind spot area is. Now you have more comfort as a passenger. You can see out as a driver. You can see out as well. A little less claustrophobic. Let's take a look at the front seat and see what fun things that we've got up there too. So if you take a look at the front seat and the interior of the vehicle, this is what I'd really like to take a look at is how they did their new design up front. Now this is gonna be your touchscreen up here and this is the seven inch upgrade. It's protruding from the top of the dash too. So it's not in the spot where everybody else seems to put theirs where, I don't wanna say everybody else cause it's not. So, you know, you can comment on that anyway. Um, but it's most of the time your touch screens are down here. Well, if your eyes are here and you look down here you're not looking anywhere near the road for anything that might come as an alert or anything that's in the way, right? So if it's here, it's a very slight adjustment to be able to actually see this. So push to start when we get into the SE package in the Eclipse Cross. And I'll just actually go into our, uh, our uh, accessory mode here in just a second too. But this is gonna be what you've seen on the last few videos that we've done too. We can let this boot up. You've got the driver side and passenger side climate control. For the super all wheel control, we have our economy mode or our eco mode. And then you have this new design right here, right? So how can we control what's going on up here? Well, you can do it from touch. You can dim this out and get it out of the way, but you can also control, control it from down here too. So you have your apps, your audio, your home, and your back button. So you can do it up here or down here. Literally, you're gonna be able to become like an extension of you doing this. You can look at it with your eyes and be able to control it from basically a mouse pad and a couple buttons here too. That's cool. It takes a little bit of getting used to because it's not the same as everything else that you've done or driven. Got our heated seats up here as well, two USB uh, ports. And then we have our super all wheel control button here, which is actually gonna engage, whether it's snow, gravel, auto, uh, and go into those different modes for you. So it's a driving mode. It's always gonna be active, but what kind of mode are you gonna be going into? We have an electric parking brake upgrade in the Eclipse Cross in the SE package. So for 2018, they've definitely stepped up their game. I love the stainless look that's on the inside of it too. And the gloss black is always gonna be something that I enjoy as well. And you know how I, much I enjoy the carbon fiber look too. So simulated carbon fiber, really good texture to it as well. Just really breaks up the monotony of being so monochromatic on the interior and being boring. How about one more thing, right? There's so many customers that have mentioned that I've seen on YouTube that we don't have the sliding visors. Well, that was something that they changed. They listened to what the customers are saying that they'd like to have changed in the vehicle. Kudos to Mitsubishi Motors on that one because they've actually paid attention to a couple different things that we'd like to see. 
So you have your SOS button up here. We've got a wrench light and information button up here, our call button up here as well. So you'll be similar. You'll, you'll see things similar to this with what you see with GM and OnStar or Ford with their SOS post crash alert system. Um, taking a look at the steering wheel controls too. Very easy to use, very simple. It's gonna be hanging up your phone, picking up your phone and your voice, right? Well, when you get into the SE package, you do have Apple CarPlay, you do have Android Auto. Android Auto, simply download the Android Auto app and then you're able to pair your phone up and have that on the Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Very vivid gauges that are in front of you too. Very good visibility through where you're grasping the steering wheel. Good adjustments as well, very simple controls, not tough to see. But the cool thing too is we can adjust a lot of different things in here to just be where we want it to be without the price point. People want to know what the price is, so we're going to tell you what is the price on this vehicle, the SE all-wheel control. Let's go look at the window sticker as you walk around and enjoy the backside view, right? Oh, one more shot I wanted you to get to, Jay, if you don't mind. Can you take a look from this angle into the back with the, with the, the deck lid dropped, right? So this lift gate, let's drop that so you can see what your visibility is. Because people are going to want to see what that view is and just see what do you see with the seats up and down, right? That's your visibility. Do you see how thin this is right here? It's not something that's like, oh, well, it looks cool from the outside, but what do you really see? Well, it's funny, I don't, didn't even notice that from the outside of the car. You can't see in really. You can see out perfect. It's, it's just, it's different than what you would expect to see it. So if you've looked at the outside, you should probably take a look at the inside because that's where it really matters is your visibility seeing outward from there, right? So I'm going to shut that door real quick and let you take a look at what the window sticker says and is and represents, right? So this is the 2018 Eclipse Cross. This is an SE. We didn't mention the motor yet. Guess what it's going to come with? A 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine, which is 26 miles to the gallon highway, 25 city, and it averages 25. It averages 25 miles to the gallon. This is the all-wheel, super all-wheel control system. Here's your total MSRP. After it's all said and done, what options do we have on here? Well, we've got an addition for the red diamond paint, right? So we've got the red paint, red diamond paint. I called it rally red. I apologize earlier. Please don't put that in your comments and not get happy about that, right? The accessory, we do have an accessory, which is a tonneau cover. In the back, you have tonneau covers, you have cargo nets, you have All OEM, some other things too that you want to find in there. Cool, we can do flaps, we can do mud guards, we can do bug guards, we can do leather conversions, whatever. It's all good, we can do that. Here's where that lever is too. The camera guy mentioned that, I didn't point that out. It's right here. So if you take a look here, there's your fuel door. Now if you look at the fuel door, ah, it's open, right? There you go. You can access your fuel door. Nice thing is, now it's locked again. Got to push the lever. Underneath the hood, this is the last thing we were going to talk about. I mentioned that a little bit earlier for the 2018 Eclipse Cross. What's underneath the hood? A motor. I'm just kidding. That wasn't a surprise at all. It's a, it's a 1.5 cylinder turbocharged. Thank goodness for bringing back turbo. I love turbocharged engines anyway. I have one in my vehicle now, two turbos on it. Here's a strut tower stabilizer and that's a three point. So it's gonna go from strut to strut and then it's gonna go back to your fire wall as well. If you can see the bracing up here, you can have your air intake here going back to the throttle body. Then you're gonna have this right here. It's gonna be your cold air, ram air style induction. You're gonna have radiator fluid up front. You're gonna have your windshield washer fluid here. And then underneath this cover is where the motor is. So the magic happens. That's where the magic happens. That's where the fuel meets the air, combustion, and down the road you go. And then oil over here on the reservoir there, and you have the alternator up front. Beautiful way to do it, and guess what? It's a lot quieter, I've noticed, than some of the other packages that Mitsubishi's offering too. So if you're considering this versus a, um, an Outlander Sport, for example, this motor happens to be quieter. I like it. It's can be something where you can focus on your phone call that's going on or your navigation or the kids in the back or your wife sitting next to you, husband sitting next to you, whatever you got going on there. It's easy to actually have communications inside without having a ton of noise. And I think that's a lot to do with the aerodynamics as well. Pitch of the roof, the pitch of the hood, 
picture the windshield, everything coming across well. Other accessories you can do with this vehicle, it's gonna be things like your roof carrier system that's gonna be available to you for kayaking, biking, whatever you might need. But all in all, it's a great package and for the price point of 28,000 before, already introduced rebates, that's pretty crazy because a lot of the competition we're already gonna be tipping into the mid 30s. So we're seven to $10,000 cheaper than a lot of the competition that's out there. And you're doing it in a package that, well, it's not really out there, nobody has it, and it totally looks different. You know, there's, you know, we hear saying rumors, this looks just like a Lexus, you stole it from there. Cool, then let me pay less than half the price and get one and own one. Bam, that just happened, right? The other cool thing is, we just received not only our first one, this, we received eight more in one shipment here at Grand Blake Mitsubishi in Grand Blake, Michigan. So feel free to give us a call. We're at 810-579-2030 or check out the website below, www.grandblakemitsubishi.com. This is Paul Zagman here with the 2018 Eclipse Cross. Thank you for watching. Any comments, please put down below. We try to get to those as quickly as we can to answer any questions that you have and do that in a timely fashion. Any more videos you'd like to see, put that on there too. And we'll make sure to get to those as quickly as possible. Like if you can, subscribe if you want, and we'll talk to you soon. We appreciate it.